Kia ora. This is Lottie reporting for Kia Kids News. Did you know that soon we'll be flying across the country in electric sea gliders? New Zealand company Ocean Fly is spending 700 million on 25 electric sea gliders. These machines fly at a low altitude at speeds of 300 kilometres an hour. We can expect to use its services from 2025, competing with airlines and ferries. They reckon it's going to be cheap. Wellington to Christchurch in one hour from $60 per seat. And Auckland to Whangarei in 30 minutes at $30 a seat. Is it a boat? Is it a plane? We're at Air Napier to find out. So, John, is this a boat or is it a plane? It starts off as a boat because it sits in the water on its hull and as it gains speed, it comes up on its foils and then it starts to fly, so it becomes an aeroplane, so it's both. How high does it get? It only flies at 10 metres above the surface of the water. Can we watch the video now? By all means. Johnny, roll that footage, please. Sure thing. John and his crew recently went to America to check out a small remote control version of the real thing. Why would they smash it with a bottle? It looks like, on the top of it, it looks like horns of a deer or something. Can't tell if it's a plane or a boat. Next up, we meet Sha. What's up, Sha? How's it going? Good, Good to see you. Just like John, he's a massive fan of the electric glider project. What was it like seeing the model fly in America? Oh, it was super exciting. It was like being in a candy shop. You know, you could pick, imagine you could pick any candy you want. How exciting is that? Same thing. I'm ready for takeoff. There's a vortex on the wing of the plane. I don't see anything. Oh, of course not. That's because it's the air. As the plane flies, it creates vortexes of air that push down on the wings. It's creating drag and slowing us down. Tell the pilot we've got to fly low to the ground. You're the boss. When a plane flies low, the surface of the Earth creates a barrier that prevents vortexes from forming. The plane is no longer pushed down and benefits from increased lift. This phenomenon is known as the ground effect. Woo, I'm an ocean flyer. Vehicles that use the wing and ground effect have been around for a while. Famously, the Soviet Union developed some in the 1960s. Whoa, I can't wait to get to school in an ocean flyer. Thanks, Ian Napier, for showing me the ropes. This was Lottie reporting for Kia Kids News.